every diaper or every plastic bag you remove, you will see that you're able to save the coral reef. You see the part of the coral that where you remove the plastic bag or the diaper dead, but the other side of it is alive. So you've actually saved that coral because you can help it grow back or you can help it regenerate. So you save mo talaga yung reef. And then for every uh, fishing line or net that you remove, you could actually prevent a turtle from, from dying, getting caught in it, or eating a plastic bag. People just say, the lay person says, well, just go get it. Just go, you know, clean the beach, clean the ocean, go get that trash. And it's, it's much more complicated, as you can imagine. It's it's the kinds of products, the kinds of packaging, the absence of waste management. It's a much more complicated issue. So real solutions take a lot of understanding and, and a lot of science, evidence that drives, you know, what are the real solutions that can work for the long term? The real solutions are ushering in the reuse economy, smarter packaging, smarter products, and those will give us those long-term solutions that we want. We look at it very objectively and say, look, you gotta stop the problem where it starts. Microplastic. The impact of having that uh, plastic bag is, is on the long run is much bigger. It's really big, so it doesn't cost anything to just pick it up. Every small step helps, and a lot of pictures are being shared on social media and stuff like this. So hopefully, it spreads out to other diving communities and they start doing the same, and slowly it gets bigger and bigger. Без запретов и цензуры. Подпишись на телеграм-канал настоящего времени и будь в курсе последних новостей и важных событий.